You got it. All right, we're on another adventure in the middle of the suburbs. We are hiking up to a one point soda after a rain. Here, I'll take my coffee, please. Thank you for holding that. I'm with Ben and we're meeting up with a bunch of local soda guys who decided to come out to my area. We're the land of the one pointers. Before you get to, oh boy, it's getting muddy. Before you get to the San Gabriel, it's, oh my gosh, whole landslide. The landslide will bring you down. Don't, yeah, don't fall. That, although don't, yeah, don't get too close to the edge because that's like, this is also a bit eroded. It is treacherous. Oh my God, it's really bad. Wow. There's the pet impact of erosion. All those vertical lines there on the side is where the ground is giving way. And all the turf has either been dragged down the mountain or remaining dirt gets pulled out. See like all that side there, that, that face is all eroded down. What's this tree about? What? What's wrong with the tree? Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's KOCE Huntington Beaches TV area. It looks like a water tower is where it, well so. We're down here and cut through. Go, uh, go walk in the greens. Yeah. Or uh, on the I gravel. I just step on the nettle. No, don't step on them. Don't get the nettles on you in the mud. Don't weaponize the mud. Just weaponize no, them. go up to the gravel over there. Price tripod. Oh wow. Let me see. This is like the one that Adam had. Ooh, buddy, that's nice. Yeah, but here's here's why I got this one. Uh huh. This is a full height. Oh, wow. So you can actually- How much are we talking for that? Ooh, this is like $1,000. No way. Yeah. Holy smokes. Definitely way, but look at that. That's perfect for travel though. I go backpacking with this one sometimes. Oh, that's nice. Is it lightweight? Yeah, yeah. super lightweight. Yeah, this is, feel this. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, N6ARA rocking the KX2. Doing some C dubs on 10 meters. Yeah. <laughs> Into it looks like a loaded long way long. Wire? Yeah, it's uh, Adams. Oh, uh, it's Adams. Yeah, yeah. The um, end fed half way with a load coil, so it's resonant on. Uh, 15 or. Yeah, 10, 15, 10. 20, and 40. Yeah. I love it, man. You got a guide out. Little 3D printed stays. I didn't even see there's another human being up there. <laughs> Is that Dylan? That's Dylan. Oh, nice. And then you got your long wire set up, also KX2. Is that a pack tenna? No, uh, trail friendly. QRP in... guys. Is that a QRP guys? It I... looks like the trail friendly, the LNR one that you used to make a long time ago. This guy? Yeah. No, I love this thing. This is the, the mini un-antenna yeah. from QRP guys. I've had over 4,000 QSOs on this thing. Really? It weighs nothing, it costs nothing, and it works like gangbusters. That's cool. So I can resonate that from a 80 all the way up through a 6. With the With the built-in tuner, yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. It's So you know the N1CC award? No. So if you work 10 parks for hey. parks on the air, yeah. with 10 contacts per park, uh -huh. you can get the N1CC award. Oh, okay. Or 10 bands per park. Sorry, 10 bands. 10 bands per park. So oh, that's 10 tough. bands in 10 parks. So oh, what, wow. So what I did is I teamed up with my buddy, How's it John. Going? Oh, he's also hey. got the QRP guys. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you want to check out... Uh, with the tuner? QRP guys, yeah, with the tuner on there. Uh, but so then what's your other box? This? Yeah. This is the uh, ATU-10. Oh, okay. It's a 10-watt tuner. Nice. So I've, I've got that just to get it down to close to one to one. Oh, oh right, because this only gets you so far. Yeah, it gets me coil. pretty close, but this gets me a little bit closer. And a 705, so you, you were the combo breaker. Yeah, I got my 705. The only non-Ellicraft radio <laughs> yeah. here on 40. Nice. How you doing so far? 
Uh, nothing on 40 yet. The only person I've worked is uh, John on two meters. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I could hear some people. They're probably just not hearing me on five watts. Yeah. But, uh, Crank it up to 10. There's no rules. He needs a... Yeah, you know, that's a good point. I did you bring have another a battery. Secondary battery. Yeah. Nice. Let me do that. Yeah, that's that's the unlocking the full potential. Yeah. So I got my BioNO battery here. And a little three amper? Oh, it's uh, a four. This is the four and a half. No. Oh. Yeah. So I got that. Cram? That's interesting. And then that I gotta grab than my that. cable here to pick up the power. <laughs> so guys, is this the most AI generated <laughs> antenna farm ever? Look at that center one with all the dishes. It is absolutely insane. And the one that looks like the drums. Those are uh, microwave dishes. Quick! Quick! Uh, 40. K6 ARK's on 40 meters. We gotta get them right now. Quick, guys, quick. Did you get them? Did you get at them? Well, he's on, you're on 40, right? You already got one on 40? He's on 40, you wanna just use his? Oh, he's got a leg mount. Let me do CW on your leg. <laughs> so convenient. Oh, no, I agree. I have one for the car. It looks a little wacky. No, I, I'm totally down. <laughs> All right, you can't hear him? He's on seven, uh, yeah, 40. <laughs> He's got a pile oh up. <laughs> like someone's massive pile up. Yeah. Hey, your decode works well. <laughs> Add that. <laughs> Ours is on the same. Wait, are they feeding off each other? No, but he can hear him because he's right next to him. They're all scrambling to get at him. Over on yeah. the meter. I'm holding the um the radio a little bit more up right as this. Ah, stop it. Whoa. That's also a little faster. What is that? Like 25? 20? Uh, 22. 22? Yeah. That's kind of my happy speed right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your uh, preferred? Like 15? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh! What a pileup. Uh, no <laughs> oh, okay, Adam got it. No, 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 your kid got it. What? What happened? Oh, what's his summit? Uh, ask ARA. I forgot to go. He didn't get it. Alright, what's uh, Adam's summit? Uh, Adam's summit was Whiskey 6 Sierra Charlie 212. Oh, you don't decode, you're that good? 
Oh no, it's too cloudy. Just call S to S this time. Oh. Go. S7S. S7S. But... <laughs> okay. Now your call sign. You got it. Josh. Five five nine. W six. Two. Oh, you are. Wait. No. Five. That was four. No. Oh. H H N. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Close perfect. enough. <laughs> ah, okay, got hey, it. Nice job, man. <laughs> okay, there's one. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> you want to get one? See if we get at him? Yeah, sure. All right, come here. Come do it. Hold on, let me turn the radio back on. Go. Ah, oh, shit. Go, go, go. Nobody. That was P. Oops. No, I did it off. Go. Roger, Roger, thank you. T U. You are. I think it's dead. Oh, okay. Did it odd? Did odd it? Five five nine. It does, so let's go. Oh, AF is on the side. Um, AF is over here. You know what's not gonna help this speaker? Uh, and then, my radio. So you're you're on 20, right? So yeah. you gotta be switched on 20. Yep. And then you hold down the ATU button, or just. Four to one, hold on. Oop. You're on Sony's frequency. Sorry, my bad, guys. SDR 1.2. Oh, I see. I, sorry, I was looking over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Oh, these are such tiny little keys. All right. Yeah. Whoa. It's weird, right? Whoa. Yeah, it's a little oh, squishy. Now, you know what's weird is being at that speed. 
That's not bad. Yep, except now I'm on somebody else's frequency. <laughs> How about 65? That's where I was earlier. Yeah, so boop. There you go. Nice. Yeah. All right. All right. That's really good. The the gen. Oh, you had a gen one. You've yeah. got the first generation. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. did. Yeah, and um, it it broke like 30 minutes of keep using it, and I felt awful. I thought I did something wrong, and then I saw like other people were having issues, and then yeah, but I, I think they've resolved it for the Rev Vs at least, from what I've heard. Yeah, um, it's got actual hard stops now too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when I first got it, the decode didn't work. Uh, th this is the new the new firmware. Oh, the firmware, yeah, yeah. And now they have like crux. It doesn't decode though, on receive. Is that the same guy? That's loud. Who was that? W6LEN. Oh, Jess. Ah. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was. Oh, okay. He's got, he's yeah. got a good radio. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, well, I was trying to do everything in my head and talk to you guys. I wasn't Sorry. Anything. N6ARA has the ultimate soda <laughs> kit. Um, you got earbuds, we'll get to the other stuff in a second, yeah. but you have the Pico APRS in the bag. Yeah, dude. For the KH1 and it fits perfectly. perfectly. I didn't even think about that, but I am totally doing that. Yeah. That's so cool. You get two meter and then like and all then the HF is this, bands. This is, what you, is this a smiley? Smiley, yeah. I love this thing, And dude. it's dual band? Uh, or no, it's just VHF. Just, yeah, just VHF. You only need VHF. Yeah. And if it like fits in your pocket, it's like... Sweet. And the antenna works okay? Because it looks yeah. like it's just a big Yeah, coil. I tried the little stub one that they recommended, mm -hmm. and then I wasn't getting any contacts with yeah. them. I switched to this thing, and it's like, it, it's perfect. I put, to, um, when, I I'm on a, when I'm on a summit hill and I want to do like a beacon, mm -hmm. I use the Long Ranger. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's awesome, dude. I, it's I'm huge actually, for small it's, it's, yeah. I know, it's massive. And and the and the beaconing is really great too. Yeah, like, it works great. People can track you on like APRS as you're headed up to the summit. So okay, so N6ARA has an updated <laughs> key, guys. Look at for the KH1. You want to hold it here? You hold it on the video. So that's gonna go into the KH1. Oh, that makes it. That's pretty nice. Yeah. So like the load path doesn't go through the connector. It goes through it the just housing, stops. and then it just yeah. Stops, yeah. Oh, oh, right, because. It's got those little divots. Yep, yep. So it holds it firmly. Oh, yeah, and you've got the cutouts. Yeah, so you could close the lid. Oh, By the way, this that's key that you slick. Designed, like, yeah, the Dude, thank version. you. Yeah, and it fits, it fits really snugly in the little pack here, so if, like, your primary key breaks, you can always, like, pull it out. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's yeah, really I always cool. have your the flip-out one with the orange body. <laughs> oh, I bring yeah, that yeah. with, like, oh. I always take that. Oh, thanks, I've man. used that's it plenty of times because of the, um, <laughs> just, you inevitably forget something. Yeah. And you're like, oh, oh yeah, that, I got it. It's good. That's awesome. Sprinkle them in your gear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so my wife loves that key though. Really? She she doesn't like the the big mechanical feel of the standard yeah, key. Yeah. Yeah. And she likes that it, she's got small hands and she yeah. actually really likes. Oh, here's the touch a little adjuster. Feel. Oh. With it too. Oh, that's right. You gotta. Have, sometimes you have to. Here's the adjuster. That's how you use it. Don't bend it. Don't bend it. <laughs> you use that to bend out the arms occasionally. Yeah. That's cool, man. Thank you. I, I don't got it, man. <laughs> oh, I did get it. Oh, okay. That's an amazing call sign, but man. Did you get it? No, I asked again. 
Oh, sorry. Did you again me again? Yeah, no, you're good, you're good. I just, the, the first part, uh, I, I didn't get the first dit. No, you're, that's a camera's right there, buddy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Boom! I just activated a summit with two of the contacts being Morse code. <laughs> so did you actually crimp those on? Those are yeah, the crimped yeah. on? Yeah. It's and that's a your bit of UHF? Practice, but yeah, this is VHF? You, uh, UHF, VHF. Yeah, it does. I think it's two meter and four. four How hard um, was this? He said this is a real pain. Honestly, it was just a lot of trial and error. I, I yeah. cracked a bunch of them until I got the right amount of like partial you know crimping force and yeah and i also i think i did it twice too and sort of like um yeah it just took a little bit of practice you, you, i think folks can just, you know, just have to try <laughs> that's cool okay. yeah is that what kind of crimper is it coax um, crimper coax crimper yeah yeah it totally is <laughs> yeah that's awesome yeah that's what I think, I was thinking and i like double crimped it and I, I actually found like amazon sells a bunch of different ones and so um, one of them I bought, I could not get that thing to crimp on no matter what. And yeah. then the other model worked perfectly the first time. So nice. nice. Yeah. I What's love your this bag? Thing, What's that? I like your bag too. Osprey. Osprey. Yeah, dude. This is, this is like, this backpack has gone liter? everywhere. Yeah. It looks I, a lot bigger than 24 liter. Maybe 30. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it is 24. Wow. It looks way bigger than 24. Yeah, but it's, this is like the best bag ever. Nice. I mean, honestly, this, this has gone everywhere with me and has, has <laughs> served me well. So, I love or this that's a regular so size of the 24 liter, and then the other 24 the liters are just really small. Oh yeah, here I can take it out. Sorry, I, I don't want to take no, you no, 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 to get going. Hey, before you guys uh, disappear, can I do a grip shot? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so there's nylon uh, uh, mm -hmm. screws. Yeah, and then the coax just yeah, breaks yeah. and and goes to these uh, lugs. Uh, that's well, I ended up 3D printing right now, this though, myself, right? huh? They don't need to be the reflectors no. and directors. Yeah. Oh, it's just directors. Yeah, There's just no reflector. No reflector. Uh, yeah, no reflector. Yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah. I I was surprised by that design too. <laughs> I, I wow. think I kind of made this for like working satellites. Like it's it's yeah. resident on like. I think he took it to San Clemente. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, nice. Among others. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it works, man. This thing hmm. rocks. For soda, it's like lightweight and so directional. You can work the whole LA basin from like anywhere in, in Angeles Crest. Oh. Um, yeah, it's mud time. We're gonna mud it. All right, we're gonna take a picture. Hey guys, come on. Okay. All right, I did that at 120 frames a second. Oh, oh, dude. Oh. Do you want us to? Do you want to pull you up? Do you want to get over here? It's just, it's a small step up. I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm actually kind of having fun. <laughs> 
Okay, good. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have a lot of fun when you fall and we yeah. record it. Well, oh, Ben, don't just go all the way. Go all the way. Don't get in the mud. Oh no. Also, we're cleaning <laughs> off our shoes. I don't want you to get in the truck. <sighs> oh, all right, I made it. You did. Good job. All right. All right. It's kind of fun. <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs>